What's going on guys? So we are about 13 weeks out uh, from the November 19th meet and things are going pretty well. Uh, having a little bit of a issue with my left hip but this deload week that I'm on right now should allow me to kind of work on it a little bit and try to figure out what exactly is going on. Um, but today I want to talk to you guys about uh, weight loss and kind of some of the mechanisms and some of the uh, ways to um, make it a little bit more enjoyable and also make it a little bit more um, in realms of improving health and also keeping your ability to uh, maintain strength as high as possible. So a lot of times guys will come to me and uh, want to lose weight because they want to drop down to another weight class but at the same time, they want to get stronger or, or maintain strength. And um, what, I, what I usually tell them is maintaining strength, that's a possibility. Getting stronger by actually dropping a weight class is very, very rare. It can happen um, depending on the person and certain situations, but it's very rare. So a few of the ways that I've found to kind of fix that and you know help maintain strength as much as possible is looking into the realm of uh, it's called NEAT non-exercise activity thermogenesis and increasing that as much as possible what happens is uh, people go on a diet and they start to lower their calories and they typically throw in some form of cardio now when you throw in the cardio whether it be uh, low intensity uh, steady state or high intensity interval training um, really just depends on uh, the person, their style of training, and what they have time for. Uh, but you start to throw all that in along with the calorie deficit and what I've noticed is that people throughout the day become less and less active. You know, so they say they, um, from a steps perspective, because that's the easiest way to track it, is say they take 5,000 steps a day. Well, they add in cardio, they add in weight, um, weight restriction or caloric deficit they tend what I tend to see is that the steps drop to probably half of that so they're doing half as much activity throughout the day just because they're a little bit more tired from the actual extra work that they're pushing in and the lower calories the problem with that is there comes a certain point in time where if you have to continue to increase your cardio to elicit the response that you're looking for, your strength is going to take a hit, your ability to recover is going to take a hit. So throwing in some, uh, some neat work in there uh, is going to allow you to continue to progress and it's going to allow you to continue to get stronger and recover from your workout. So a good thing to do and what I see a lot is people that have dogs just going for a, going for a walk. Um, nothing crazy, just going for a walk and uh, doing that once or twice a day, 10 to 20 minutes. It's not very stressful. You're getting out. Um, I like to do some meditation while I'm walking or put on a podcast or something like that. And you're just trying to accumulate more steps throughout the day. And you can do that through, say, if you work, you know, you can get up every hour and walk down the hall and walk back or stretch a little bit or just doing something that is going to continuously keep you active throughout the day parking further away from your work you know doing those type of things is going to help you uh, continue to accumulate steps and is going to help you recover and it will also help you drop some weight without having to add in some extra strenuous cardio or some extra training days if you can try to eliminate the cardio as much as possible in replace of uh, neat, then you're going to be able to progress a lot more in the gym. And a good way to keep track of that is just through uh, log booking and um, writing down your weights and making sure that you're progressing uh, with either the load or the um, reps with the same load as the week before. And doing that is going to ensure that you're getting stronger while in a deficit. And that's a good way to uh, progress while you're doing that. So we have Kaylee doing right now, uh, writing up her programming. We actually went with a low volume, higher intensity approach and just log booking. And she's continuing to make progress. And she's about two, two weeks and five days out from her show. And she's 
getting really strong and being able to maintain strength as well in some exercises that you normally don't see uh, maintained while you're dropping weight in the squat and the bench press for instance so being able to increase her actual daily activity is one thing that we've worked on you know she'll come home from work or just a day off or something like that and you know her main inclination is like I just want to rest I'm tired I don't have enough food in me you know but I'll try to get her out and, and we'll go for like a 10-15 minute walk or um, get her to do some foam rolling or some stretching you know something like that where she's you know still being somewhat active and able to kind of perform and move and get the body going and I think that's a great way to uh, to help with the weight loss process and to keep it as easy on the body as possible so that you're able to continue to progress in your lifting which is the whole reason we're trying to drop to a different weight class or drop some weight is to be more competitive in that class and you don't want to start losing strength to get there uh, so that's one of the things I like to implement with a lot of my clients and so if you guys have any questions comment below uh, as always guys thanks for watching make sure that you like subscribe and share and i also have a podcast that just came out on soundcloud soundcloud and itunes called beyond the platform make sure you guys subscribe to that and check it out i'll catch you guys next time